Hey guys, Crow here, and welcome back to another Medieval Engineers video. Now last time I showcased these two prototypes, starting off, but quickly realized that this is way too unstable to have all this weight on one joint, and also we're using weights on here to try to make it stabilize, so I had to use a multi-joint system. So I moved on to this one, which if you have uh, watched a Captain Jar's video recently, you might realize that he made pretty much this exact same thing, but as a spider form. So, yes, actually I did not watch this, that video and then make this, I actually made this and then watched the video. So, it's surprising how close these are related without watching each other. But yeah, anyway, I have two sets of things, which he used three, I only, I only once used two, let's just keep this lies. He's got two connection points on these belts which are yeah, several to the top, why not? This system, connect this system, blah blah, connects to a rope, leads down to here. And a Nazi wheel, I guess, this is why we need gears. Keen, come on, give us gears, we don't need Nazi symbols everywhere. Um, and then that leads into this connection port, which is connected to this, which it swaps the power between both of them. Now these, I like to call the Petinant Crow Corp, uh, wiring system, I don't know, but if you remember pretty much, uh, it kept, the like Captain Jars, I think, also invented the, um, the rope gear system that, that we use, um, over here. It's pretty much, this, this video was pretty much revolutionary, it's gonna change everything in this game, so thank you Captain Jars for changing the game. Um, this system is pretty much what everyone's using, but you can actually make it more compact if you use it around the poles like that, like I set up a little system over here. So as you can see, it's just around the poles and it acts exactly like any other system would. So, I don't, like there really isn't a point to add the extra wood on the outside and then that on the inside because it actually, a block of wood is thicker than the actual thing with a hitbox. So you're, you're actually saving space and resources by making it attach to the actual wood piece. And you can just spin it the same way. Works the same exact way, just put it on four corners and then connect to the same orientation and you will be good to go. So, now moving on from that Patinic Crow Corp invention, <laughs> the stupidest invention of all. Um, this didn't actually seem to be able to hold up to the tension. It actually collapses under the weight of itself with only one pull. But this one, however, doesn't. So what this beauty is, also with compacting, I moved all these systems underneath and compacted it a hell of a lot. So what this is, is nothing up top. It's actually connected to the bottom under here, if I can try to get in. As you can see, got a little rotary wheel in there, a gear system that is connected to that from the underside. And it is spinning, move over here, <laughs> this little gear over here, which that gear is connected to that, that's connected to that, that's connected to over that, and that's connected to that. So they are all connected um, to like one, to another, to another, to another, and that is allowing these to move like that. Now, the problem with this one is that these two legs, I can't connect them. If I try to, if I can ever get these to line up the way I want to go, come on. There we go. If I try to put it like that, it doesn't connect, unfortunately. It actually is separate. As you can see, the gap there, they are not connected. So, what I had to do is make a two-joint system on each side to stabilize it, but rope isn't very supposed to be stable. <laughs> so, it's actually not very good with keeping together. Like, it's not as good as I hoped. But, you know, maybe they'll add us some connection thing in the future. I remember they had, like, brackets in the video and also in the pre 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 alpha. Um, maybe those brackets are meant to connect them together? I'm not sure, but hopefully, in the future, they will add that. As you can see, when I realized they weren't stable, it actually left a, bit of, a little bas battle scar in the ground, unfortunately. I'll just keep it there for the aesthetics. The war zone, I don't know. So, other than them not connecting together, it is having problems in 
here, and I'll go ahead and show that with the live demo over here. Oh god, that looks so funky. The second prototype. And this is the phys physics enabled demo, which we have everything wired back up because every time you paste it, it deletes the wires. Go ahead and turn that on, jump down here, and it's not moving. And it's trying to, but it can't because it's not able to. Now it looks like it's actually hitting that, but that's because it's being pushed out of its socket into it. It won't hit it if it wasn't moved out of its socket. Move back here. You can see that it's getting way out pushed. Like, I'm not sure if I can actually fix this or not. Like, if, like, is this connection too strong? Maybe I can, like, what I'm thinking is, like, I can put the, a pole in the center and I have that pole connect to all the poles on the outside. Or I can try rotating this top ROM thing to face from bottom to top that way. And then I can connect that pole directly to one of the first poles and travel the circuit around. So... Um, but I, pretty much the only way I can fix this is by minimalizing it or strengthening it, and that will allow it to walk. If we let's try to give it a nudge, see if we can get it to move. Yo, my little baby. Nah, uh, nope. Let's try getting these out of here. Did, whoops. Oh, it's it's shaking. That's usually not a good thing. Put you back. Oh, yeah. oh. And this is the end. That was a quick death. I think it's telling me to pretty much sum up the video because we're not getting any further than this. Um. Yeah. So I will continue working on the mech, the mech systems, and other mech stuff, like. I know Captain Jars made it a finished one, except well, it's not finished. It actually only works for a couple of steps, then it breaks. But he has made more steps than me. But does it mean I'm ending in the battle? No, I'm actually making a different type. I'm trying to make it two walking. I want to stick to like two legs. That's why I was trying to connect this over there. Because I want it to be where one side lifts up while the other side is hovering, pretty much. So weight is only on this side at one time, or weight is on the other side at one time, like it's doing right now rather than a spider mechanic. I want to be soon in the future where I have a giant thing of a mech that just walks like boom 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 or like boom 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 with tiny feet. I want it to be massive and I want to crush things. Maybe I can put like weights in the bottom in the future when it gets like super huge and just smash the buildings. It'll be it'll be incredible if I can make that happen. But you know, baby steps. Type prototype by prototype by this monstrosity. It looked like it was going to live up to the hype, and then it turned stone into ash, or whatever. It didn't turn into ash, but you get the point. So, now, as it flies away, or, oh my god, my English. <laughs> Even though I am American, and I can't speak English. Uh, hopefully, you and guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I will continue working on this, and also other Space Engineers videos, Medieval Engineers videos. I have an idea for a crossover that, whoa, that you guys might like, so you can stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget that at 4K subscribers, we're going to do another giveaway, this time of Medieval Engineers, so you can have fun with the this, whatever this is, and why do I always make my outros like extremely long? I don't know. Just, yeah, subscribe, like the video, favorite, share. Um, raid on Tumblr, I don't know, just, yep, goodbye, enjoy your day, that, should we just wait for this to fall apart? Uh, is it gonna? I think, I think it summed up its life by just turning into a chair. Can it be a chair? I am determined to sit on this chair. Come on, come on. I don't care how long this video is going to be, I'm going to sit on this chair. Yes, yes, okay, see, no! Okay, man. Okay, man. Yes, my flying throne. Yeah, whatever. Alright, and if you guys enjoyed the video, goodbye, subscribe, and I'm going to fall off a cliff. Ah, what a cliff. Goodbye.